Welcome back, everybody. Hope everyone's having a good day and a good week. I'm going to point out a few things this evening. Kind of keep it light. Because that's what it is. It's all about the light and the shadow. So, let's start this. As you can see, as I always say, the light, the sun, goes down way over here. All the way to the left here. This area, see how this is coming down around here? This is probably one of the moons of that. Big green bastard. Let's keep going as the sun keeps coming down. You see this whole area right here. It's reflecting light. This is none of this is being illuminated back here. I'm sure everybody can see that. See how side illuminated. Sun is still above, so it's still reflecting more along the top of the crescent illumination here. And you can really see the where it's going around and this right here as well. Notice this is not illuminated back in here. It doesn't start illuminating until it comes up around the edge there. You can see the shadow line. And as the sun begins to come down, you can also see another cast shadow there. But this is getting real obvious. I mean, look how the light is bending around it with a dark side and a light side. This doesn't happen with clouds. See all this darkness back in here? All this brightness. Now, as the sun begins to get lower, we're going to start to see a bunch of light coming out from under here over here. Look at that. See that? See how the light's breaking? around this and this whole thing. And you're still, like I said, you're going to start seeing light coming up over here. See how it's getting brighter. And brighter. And brighter. See how it's one big curve with the crescent illuminating face and all the backside dark. As the sun gets lower, that'll all start to get brighter through here. Because then the sun is below and able to actually hit it and illuminate it. See how the light is still doing that? See how it's all dark back up in here? See, that's a crescent illumination right there. Just think of our moon really, really big. See the dark side? See how it's staying illuminated over there? <laughs> now all of this should start to brighten up a little bit as we go. Should turn really, really green. See how it's illuminating all the way around the bottom now? Now everything's starting to get illuminated up in here. Looks like that little moon might be causing a shadow there. Look how green all this is. Lots and lots of green. Now all of this is starting to illuminate because the sun is below and reflecting off of that. That's why it's all so bright all of a sudden. If you were wondering, side illumination. You got to look at it really, really large. Or actually, you got to watch it really, really small. But you'll see the really, really large a lot better when it's in a thumbnail size. Alright, moving on. I don't like recording from this one. I like the other camera angle they have. It's got more of a sky view, but lately there's quite a bit of dirt on their lens. So we're going to watch it from this side, I guess. It doesn't give as much of a sky, but, you know, it's the way it goes. I mean, right away the sun looks weird, right? 
I mean, come on. Look at how the shadow lines are keeping the light in and down and under. See how the light's kind of like, the sun's kind of like, almost feels like it's pulling away from us, staying in one spot there. That's because it's behind something. See how this is blocking light, all this blue area up here. See how it's going down and under instead. Down and under. That's that planet over there, and there's another one over there. See, now all this starts to illuminate because it's now reflecting light. Same with over here. That's what all this extra illumination after sunset is. And then you got that red planet right there, still kind of in the way. Now you can see the, the light breaking. I mean, look, look at this. This is not how our sun looks when it goes down. It's still there, right there. See that? Great big dirty spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty dirty. But nonetheless, look at him spraying. <laughs> Trying to cover things up. See all that shadow back in there? See how it's just, see how this is still dark? There's a shadow line up here. See that shadow line? See that? This is all shaded. It's not because the, there's a cloud there. I mean, it has nothing to do with where the sun's illuminating the sky. I mean, look at that. That whole thing is just went dark. See all that green right there? Yeah, you did. Look, there's the back side of it. See all the lights breaking around it? See that? Really hard not to see if you don't know what you're seeing. Well, it's really hard to see if you don't know what you're seeing, honestly. But yeah, this is all bottom of the planet. See all that darkness? That should be illuminated just as much as the rest of the sky, and it is not. And it's not because of that cloud. The sun is 93 million miles away. That cloud's got nothing to do with anything. <laughs> see how dark all of this. You can see shadows in, during the day when the sun is up. That should tell people something. See the sun's right in your face. And you can still see shadow all through there. Absolutely wild. But nobody sees nothing. See, that, that's what I suspected to begin with. The sun's coming down out of the sky behind something else. That's why we have this great big line of light behind what appears to be a stand up cloud. <laughs> How many people have seen stand up clouds before? <laughs> that have linings, silver linings. Then as it goes over here, ends up in more more shade. See this shadow line right here? There's that again. But yeah, the, the sky is just filled with some, with a great big planet, great big green one. See all the colors coming through now. Now, that shadow should lengthen out as, a, as the sun goes down. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a shadow. Wow, look at that. You can see the... Wow, look at that. Come on now. It's got a back, back shadow. It's got an illuminating face. Hello. Nobody sees. Nobody knows. I mean, I've posted so much stuff like this. People just, their minds just dismiss it. I mean, they don't even see it. They see it, and then they don't see it. It's like they didn't see it at all. 
and we and we take and explain why that's happening, and feel free. Can't say it's a lens anomaly. There's no direct light. I mean, that's happening in the sky. Those people down there in the water, they're saying, what's that in the sky? As the sun goes down, the shadow gets longer. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's a shadow, not anything else. I mean, that's got a back shadow. Look at that thing. Right there. Straight up in your face. You know, feel free to weigh in if you know any better. But don't just say, I don't see nothing. Now, what do you see? Nothing isn't something. Something's going on up there. And the people that just keep saying, I don't see nothing, this is bullshit, blah, 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 blah. Just keep your head buried in the sand, buddy. People. Because <laughs> that's some serious barrage right there. You got your head buried deep. I don't know if it's in the, in the sand or where, but you ain't seen no sunshine. Wow, look at that. That is awesome. Do you know the sun is pulsing because it's coming around from some the side of something else. And you can see how the light's breaking around right here. This whole side. See how it's like reaching out and like bending around this area? See how it's bending around down below now that it's getting further low? The lower it gets, the more round it's going to look. Because there's something big and round up there. And you can just follow it. I mean, look at that. It's casting shadows on itself. Look how green that is. Yeah, look at that. Cut off. Because the sun's bending around something right there. Yeah, sun goes down, just gets more weird. <laughs> Look at this, this is casting shadow. <laughs> See, it's still reflecting off the side of that thing. And that's what all that is. See how it's bending around? Look how much light's still going down. That's other planets setting. <laughs> I think I've shown enough of that too. But it doesn't seem like I ever show enough. And I usually don't, you know. And I know it's a lot more helpful if I'm pointing things out and whatnot. But you know, I notice how many followers and how many subscribers and the most part, how many trolls are on all the other, you know, and I can understand why they're on those, trolling them quite quite a bit, which is, you know, they need it. I mean, they're just posting flares anyways. Who cares about flares? 90% of the gullible people, I guess. All right, let's watch this one. See how green all this is over here? We got a, an illumination side happening. See this dark area? That means it's closer to us. Now, every time you notice that the sun is stalled out, that's because it's light coming from around the side of something else. Otherwise, it would stay on a nice, clean path. Look at that big red round thing below it. <sighs> that don't stand out. Now the light's going to come around the side of that. Or it's going to go right dead behind it. You see how long it took the sun to get from just here to here? 
see how it's kind of, you know, now it's moving a little faster. It's coming out from behind or below whatever it was moving behind. Look how dark all this st stayed up there. See? Cut off. You can see the shadow casting. Look at that. Over there. That's further away, but still illuminating. Great big red ball. <laughs> got purple, got green. But then I've been saying that for a while. All right, sunset. Let's see how all this is really strange looking, how it's side illuminated. Nothing over here is getting any light, but all the light seems to just be stopping right there. That should be telling you something. Look you know, how green this is. So much green lately. Here it comes. There's that moon again. It's coming with it, see? It's in this footage, too. Look at that. That's not a storm. That's massive. Not even look at how gnarly that is. And neither is the reason I reminded myself to come over here. Look at all that. See how this is all shadow back in here? See how this is all side illuminated? You get that light going down and under again. See? It's going down and under, and now it's illuminating the bottom finally. Just like I said it would earlier, and it did earlier. Look at light coming out the backside. See the cast shadow? Yeah, who didn't see that? <laughs> Here we go. See how the lights is bending down already? blocking light here. This is not as illuminated as it should be. Coming towards the sun with the sun above, you know. It's obviously uh, catching some shadow. I mean, the light's, the light's willing to go all the way down <laughs> before even illuminating any of this. I mean, am I the only one paying attention? I know a lot of people on my channel are, and I know a lot of people aren't. <laughs> I mean, I try to point this out every time. I mean, look at this. Look at, look, look at this strange shadow-lined area here. The lower the sun gets, the more the shadow line comes across the top. The darker it gets. Look, see? Look at it. It's doing right in front of your face. I'm calling it on the fly. Look how the sun's bending down and around here. It's also beaming off the bottom of something else, but definitely bending around something there. See how it's split? See that? They don't want you to see that, but I, I'm pointing it out. See how all this shadow line is? The sun's getting lower. It's going to illuminate. Oh, look at there. Illumination. All the way across. Imagine that. Couldn't catch a damn bit of light a minute ago. Oh, look at, look at that shadow. Ooh, that's pretty. Now that's a cast shadow. Wow. Yeah, let's have a watch here. Oh, look at that. See? See how this is not illuminated? <laughs> Just catching a little bit of it now. As the sun goes down behind it, see, it's getting darker and darker in, the, in between here. See how that's still dark? Still dark. Look at that. Now you got beams of light breaking. It's just getting darker. With the lights coming out down here and up here. See how the sun's just kind of stationary almost there for a long time? It's because it's going down behind something else. Now the light's going to bend around here and hop to the bottom real fast. See how it's bending down around there? 
now it's shrinking, but it's really, you know, still in this general vicinity. It's not really going down, it's just bending around something there. Now you see the cutoff, see the shadow line. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, they cut a lot of that out, but that's all right. You can still see the how it illuminated finally, and then got real shadowed again. Look at all that light going all the way across the bottom of it. That'd be in the beer room right there. Great big bastard. Yeah. Now a lot of people would call these planets if they were in the sky. But as you can see, they look just like the things they point out in all the rest of the videos. And all they are are flares. Unless that's a planet hanging out in our forest. Or planets hanging out in our forest with their moons and, you know, these are see-through. They're completely illuminated around me that tells you I mean all you need to know they're flares and the reason this is hexagonal is because on the phones we use nowadays hexagonal as well hexagonal as well the phones we use these days the camera itself, the lens, is still round. But if you inspect your phone, over the top of that round lens is a flat plastic lens. And that's where you get the hexagonal. Because you have a, a flat square inside of a circle. So, you know, that's where you're getting your hexagonals. But for the most part, if this was in the sky, up next to the sun, you know exactly what people would be saying. Oh, look, a planet. Or, oh, look, it's not a planet. It's a flare. Proof positive that what you guys are always calling flare, or planets is nothing but a flare. Unless they're hanging out in our trees now like big ornaments, Christmas ornaments. All right, everybody. That about does it for today. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you didn't learn anything, teach me something. And have a great one. Thanks for watching. Please share.